Hey y'all, welcome back to l and Honeycomb Homestead. As you can hear, everybody's out here still mowing, doing the most out here. But what I'm doing today is I'm putting my stuff in the beds, okay? I'm gonna put a couple of things in one bed or maybe just one, and I wanna show you how this winter sewing, when I call it every season sewing, okay, as far as your food, in containers, jugs, whatever you're using, I'm going to show you what it looks like, okay? And stay tuned. Okay, y'all. So, before we get really busy, I had to sit down, okay? Because I can't not do it over there like I wanted to. But I'm going to show you. I'm going to tilt the camera down so you can see what I'm talking about. So, if you can remember back in one of the videos, I did some uh, lemon basil. So that way you can see what I'm talking about. This is the best thing because I didn't have to babysit, y'all. I did not have to babysit, okay? That's the best thing of it all. You ain't got to babysit this stuff. So I'm going to bring you on down so you can see what I'm talking about, okay? You see? You see the action going on? You see the action going on? Okay, so first of all, let me take that tape off. Okay, you'll take that off. You can see what this looking like. I was able to harvest um, the rest of the little bell peppers and little peppers over there. But okay, enough of that. This is what we're talking about right here. Look at this lemon basil. Now what I'm, ooh, it smells so divine. It smells so good. I'm gonna bring it up close. You see that? You see how pretty that is? see it and all I did was sprinkle the basil okay so what you'll do here is you're gonna take this soil out I forgot my little scissors hey y'all how to get my gloves and my little nippers what you're gonna do is to get it easy access you want to do you hear that crazy dog of mine he over here breathing all hard, thinking he want to play. You already know why he's doing this, because of L is out here. But anyway, so you're going to kind of rip it a little bit so you can be able to get in here. Okay, so. What I usually do, you can take this basil. You can break off little pieces, right? You see where the roots are? And all that, let me move this back some. See? You can take this and break it off and put it in your soil. I'm going to take you over there because I wasn't able to do this on camera over there. Okay, y'all. So, I already amended the soil. And as y'all remember, I had told you I had put scraps and everything in here. Eggshells, anything you can think of. I have already put it inside of uh, this bed okay and when i tell you some rich soil look at that y'all and it's got all the nutrients it needs in here i don't need to put no more in here no more in here okay so i'm just stirring it around a little bit okay and now we're going to get ready to take this lemon basil and we're going to put some off in here okay do you see how this stuff is doing? I'll bring you down here in a minute. Just work with me. Work with me. Because this is an easy tactic. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn this over. I'm going to break it up back here, down here and here. Shake, 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 shake. Let y'all see the roots. Be real careful with it. It's good and moist. Now, I want y'all to get a good look at this. You see this? Man, it smells good. It smells really good. Okay, and you see these roots? See that? So, all you gotta do, since this is where I'm gonna put my lemon basil. I just broke off a piece. That's my starts. 
And guess what? I'm going to stick it right on in here. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. Okay. Let me show you. Hold on. Give me a minute. I'm going to bring it over this way so you can see. So all I'm going to do is dig me a little hole. And I'm going to put my babies in here. Because it's got roots. It's going to take off. Okay? It's going to really take off. If I really wanted to do it, I could have it all in one spot. Where it could just be just my lemon basil. Okay? But I want to separate it and put them in different little areas in this bed. Okay? You can see. I'm going to show you. This is what's making it wonderful. Because all I have to do is this little work. Little. Little work. Not a whole lot. And my beds are already made up and ready. Okay? It's already made up and ready. Okay? Get another piece. Okay. Let's stick this one right here. And it's a lot. But I want a lot of it. Because I'm going to be making a lot of stuff with this lemon basil. Making a whole line of it, y'all. Okay. Okay, I'm going to come on over here and bring you down. As you can see, I got them lined up. This is just my basil bed, okay? This is my basil bed because this is what I wanted all my basil to be. Because I got a lot of it, a lot of space to put this stuff, okay? And it's going to be all right when it's bunched up like this, okay? Because it's going to be a lot. Man, this smells good, y'all. If y'all could only smell this. So as you can see, this is what it looks like after you get them in. You have your starts. They're already done. And all you have to do is just put them in and let it do the rest. Mm -hmm. I'll bring you up a little closer. Focus. There it goes. See? And that's pretty much it, y'all. And they will take off. I've done it before. You might be saying, no, spread it out. Believe me, I have done this already. And I already know what it's going to do. It's going to spread and it's going to go through this whole entire um, barrel right here. Yep. And that's all. And it all came from this. Just by doing this. Y'all. That's all you gotta do. There's no babysitting. When I say babysitting, look. Got time to put them in cups. You don't have to put them in cups. You can put them in these jugs. You can put them in Coke containers. You can put them in... Array containers, you can put them in milk, orange juice, juicy juice, whatever container, okay? And do it just like I showed you in a few videos on back. Put some holes in it, cut it halfway so it can be its miniature greenhouse, all of that. And let the elements do the rest for you. Let Mother Nature do the rest for you. 
Because you know your girl be doing the most. I'm all over the place. I'm all over the place. But when it's time to set this bad boy out, they'll be just sitting here waiting. Just waiting. Hey, I'm ready to get in the bed. I'm ready to get in the bed. And you will do just like I showed you. You will get your container. You will take the tape off. You will dump out. You will dump it out. And you'll split it up. And you'll put your stuff wherever you want it to be just that simple winter spring summer and fall you could do the same things with your flowers yeah you heard it you heard it you can do the same thing with your flowers if you got some flowers you can do the same process by putting your seeds in them as them flowers are starting to grow and getting ready for the spring, you got all your containers in here and you got every last one of them that you want to be out here in your garden. Stick them in there and let Mother Nature do its job. No, they're not going to die. They're going to germinate, y'all. When it gets warm, it's going to germinate. I kid you not. I have done that as well and I'm telling you, beautiful flowers and all i had to do was just break them apart and put them in the ground put them in pots put them in whatever you want your flowers to be at you ain't got a babysit just that simple i'm telling you so if you want to start a garden and you don't have time this yes you do by doing it like this you will have plenty of time why because all you have to do is stick them in there, put the label on it, put you some holes in it, cut it halfway, get you some duct tape so you can tape it down, put you some soil in there, some seeds in there, and go to work, go to the park, play with your kids, go out of town, come back, do whatever until it's time to take them and put them in the bed, okay? And that's it. You have time. Grow your food, yo. Quit sitting there saying you ain't got time. Unless you got the money to keep going to this grocery store because you already know your girl ain't doing it. You already know I'm not. So, mm -mm. if I can continue while I'm doing this right here, that's what I'm going to do. And preserve my food, can my food, put it in the freezer, chop, 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 dice, 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 all the above. And just by not babysitting. So, I'm telling you. <laughs> Ellen. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, leave a comment down below, y'all. Leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think, okay? Tell me what you think. Because look, I've been doing this for two years. Now I showed you in the other videos about some cups, because I was letting people know that you can do it like that in cups, okay? You want to do it in cups. But I don't have time for all that. I don't. The, doing with the wind and all them cups flying everywhere. No. That was driving me insane. So, yeah. Look, y'all. Just do this. Grow your food in some containers. It's the best. It's the best. It's the best. And get it out there to them beds. If you like it, like I told you, like, comment, subscribe, and y'all, have yourself a wonderful and blessed day. Bye-bye.